Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Chapel this morning. This is the Sunday after Easter. Let's sing together this morning, This is the Day. Y'all sing with me at home, okay? This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I hope you were singing at home with me. I'm sorry you're not here to sing with me, but I've got a few of my friends who came to be with us in chapel this morning. It's good to have them with us, and I'm glad you're watching from home. There's a game I want to play this morning. It's a game I play with my grandchildren, um, sometimes when I'm putting, to bed, putting them to bed, and it's a game I call I Doubt It. Do you know what a doubt is? It's something that is very hard to believe. So if I said something that is very hard to believe, they would say, I doubt it. But if I say something that's true, then they would say, oh, that's true. Like, this is an example. How about... The cow jumped over the moon. And they would say, I doubt it, because that's just a fairy tale. That's a storybook about a cow jumping over the moon. Not really true. How about, I had a great Easter. That's true. I did have a great Easter. I got to Zoom with all of my kids and my grandkids, and we worshiped together. And then Kay and I had a great lunch together. I had a great Easter, and I even got something in my Easter basket. How about this one? I'm going to jog to Atlanta. I doubt it. I can't even walk around the block hardly, much less jog to Atlanta. So that one's not true. How about a man walked on the moon? That is true. I was about 12 years old and we were watching it on TV when a man actually landed on the moon and walked on the moon. I saw it. How about this one? Jesus was raised from the dead. What? How can someone who is dead be raised from the dead? Somebody who was in the tomb actually come alive again. But it was true. Jesus was raised from the dead on Easter. That's what we celebrated last week. This week we have the story of someone who doubted it, though. His name was Thomas. He was one of the disciples. And he just couldn't believe that Jesus was really raised from the dead, even though the other disciples told him about it. Let's read about it from our gospel. This is from the Gospel of John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them this time. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. You know, sometimes... It's okay to doubt. Sometimes it's okay to question things, especially things that are hard to believe. But sometimes we just have to believe. We believe by faith. Even though it may seem unbelievable, we believe it by faith. Jesus also said to Thomas, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. That's like you and me. We haven't seen Jesus raised from the dead, and yet we believe. There's something inside of us that helps us to believe. 
And that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to us to help us believe. We believe by faith. I'm thankful that we have Jesus in our lives and he is alive for you and me. Let's pray now and then we'll pray together the Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you raised Jesus from the dead and he is alive. He is risen indeed. And we feel him with us. We know we can pray to him and he hears us. Thank you, Father, for raising Jesus and that we have the promise that we too will be raised one day. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to believe and never doubt. And now we pray the words your son Jesus taught us when we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Since this is now after Easter, we can sing our Alleluia song. <clears throat> so I want to sing a song with you today called Allelu, 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 Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Y'all sing with me at home. Allelu, 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 Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Allelu, 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 Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord, Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord, Alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Now a little homework for you. You can play this game at home of I doubt it with your brothers or sisters or your mom and dad. Something that you may doubt or something that is true. Y'all can play that game at home. Have a great week.